Welcome back. In a previous video, I showed you how I painted my background. This time, I'm going to add three-dimensional buildings to add more realism to my backgrounds. One of the key objectives that I had was to force the perspective, which is that I made them about half the scale of my foreground buildings, which are 124 scale, so I made these one. 48 scale approximate it really is not that critical i made them out of foam core which is because it's so easy to cut out windows and doors here are the buildings uh, assembled uh, in foam core and i strive to make them at angles so they look a little bit more three-dimensional on the background the next step was to add uh, texture and roofing materials and uh, scale figures. The next step was to add a mixture of Durham's um, water putty uh, and spread it all over the walls of the smaller scale buildings to give it a stucco texture to them. Even though from the distance that uh, the regular viewer is going to be from these buildings, the texture won't be that obvious because it'll be about three feet away. But it's good to have this kind of texture because then you can paint them and have nice little uh, realistic effects. I will spread this across all the building faces and the retaining wall uh, to, to give it an overall uh, stucco texture. Here's the low relief mock-up. It was it first started out uh, made out of foam core uh, in the previous scene. Then I covered it with Durham's water putty, and then I painted it. Um, so now we have uh, I added shutters, uh, glass, and then I put on some O scale tile roof, painted it. Uh, did some dry brushing, added some vegetation on top, added a, a tree, a, a O-scale figure um, to increase the sense of uh, scale compression. So as you re recall, my uh, layout is in 124 scale uh, and this uh, O-scale uh, figure is uh, almost exactly half the size of my regular layout so this will give a sense of distance the next step i did was i added um, led lights uh, one to each one of these buildings and then the next step i will do is attach it to the woodland scenics just plug system reduce the um, the brightness to, to enhance even uh, more the scale distance um, i'll be right back to show you how it looks at the end Here's the low relief buildings finally installed on the background. As you can see, they're about the same size as the buildings painted on the background. Uh, the lights have been attached to the just plug system and they are turning on and off uh, in keeping with the random feel of, of homes being occupied. So I think it's a very convincing simulation And you can see if you look closely, there's the old scale figure uh, standing behind the stone wall with the lights turning on and off and the tree installed and the lights turning on and off. I really enjoyed this project. It was simple. It was quick. Um, it was easy to do. I think the only thing I think thought that was a little bit complicated was uh, soldering the wires to the just plug plugs so that I can then plug it into, this, into one of the hubs. But if you know how to solder, it's really simple. Thank you for watching the video.
Thank you for visiting the little fishing village of Amalfitan. Please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. Until next time, arrivederci.